Today we're in Shock's workshop and we're going to show you how to solder QFN parts onto the Arduino weather shield board. This is a, a board for the Arduino that uses a small QFN weather radio receiver chip and it has audio out so it can play weather radio but also it can capture the data from emergency weather transmissions and the Arduino can decode them and we'll make some software to send that to the computer or something. But the main part about this board is it's got this QFN chip on it and that's the tiny little chip it looks like this and it's got no legs or leads it's just got little pads on the bottom and Shock is an expert at soldering these so he's going to show us how it's done let's try it <laughs> okay first I uh, apply a little bit of solder to both the board and the pads uh, so it gets pre-soldered after that yeah. I go to uh, Flux the whole area, as always with SMD uh, flux is the mm -hmm. key the key thing to do it. Then I can use the hot air. I got the hot air station just like you, the mm -hmm. same one, uh, to get the, uh, the solder heated and the chip heated, mm -hmm. and then I up, uh, put those things together. Okay. And what kind and of solder should, are you using? Or sorry, what kind of flux are you using? I'm using uh, the flux I got from Sparkfun. It's the Caster uh, two three three one ZX. Uh, it's a uh, it's a water soluble flux and do you like it? I do, I do like it a lot. Yeah. I can solder it at approximately uh, let's say between 350 and 400. All right. Uh, first, I'm gonna flux it both parts with the pen, and it always sticks to it. Always exciting to get the heat build up. Okay, it's pre-soldered. I usually put it around 400 degrees, but I guess it's an expensive chip, so I try a bit less. Let's get it hot, also the chip. Here you see service tension. Do you yes, think it's, it's okay. good? It's okay. If I look at it, it's laying flat, uh, spot on on the on the board, so it looks okay. Now we get uh, to solder the the pads on the outside with just normal iron, the normal okay. thing, and of course flux it again. Yeah, <laughs> you can never have enough flux. <laughs> yeah. That's my rule. Okay, the hot air is uh, cooled down, so now we can uh, solder the remaining pads. Uh, as I said before, we should flux it a lot. That's what I actually. That is exactly what I'm gonna do. The good thing about QFN is that the the pads and at the sides are uh, exposed with a, uh, just a tiny amount, but it's just enough to uh, contact between uh, solder and uh, your iron and the board, of course. Yeah. So it makes a proper connection. So it's not so much the goal to get all the pads soldered with the hot air. It's no. just to get the center pad down and then get center around pads, the outside yeah. with normal drag solder. All right. Yeah, something Perfect. anybody could do. Yeah. Check it. This side is okay. Well, it's aligned okay. That's the good thing. 
I guess I gotta do it with hot air just to be sure for the proper connection. Okay. To get uh, things reflow again. Uh, I can use uh, the hot air just to be sure so if, uh, so the solder gets reflowed mm -hmm. and make good contact uh, with a uh, little help of some flux. Yeah. Of course. So some more flux yeah. and then a little bit of hot air to yeah. reflow everything and make sure it's sitting just right. Yeah. Basically. Well, there is some temperature. Okay, so we finished soldering the QFN chip onto the board. First we used a little bit of hot air to heat up the pad and get it stuck on there. And then we used drag soldering around the edges with lots of flux to connect all the tips. Then just a little bit more hot air to make sure everything was sitting right and even. Shock also showed me something else he's been working on. This also uses a QFN chip, but it uses a different soldering method. Here, he put a via in the very bottom of the circuit board. See the QFN there and the via underneath it on the bottom. That way you can solder the pad in the middle of the QFN chip with a normal soldering iron from behind instead of using hot air. That way if you just have a regular hand iron you can also try your hand at QFN soldering. So that's a good tip. Just leave a via in the middle of the footprint from the bottom to the top and then hopefully you can solder it from the bottom. And then we have a special surprise for Shock. We're going to see if he can solder this. He doesn't know anything about okay. it yet. So, All right. uh, I brought this uh, Temperature sensor board, yeah, uh, which uses a BGA9 chip. All right, and then unfortunately, <laughs> you got this. I also have the, the chip for you, uh, but right. only one. So okay. I just wanted to see, for fun, if you were able to solder this, and you know, and if it gets destroyed, it's really no problem at okay. all. Uh, this I is just for fun. Sense. This is the <laughs> this is the Texas Instruments TMP. Uh, 006. It's an I squared C temperature sensor, so it only uses two wires to show data. But uh, it's not just a temperature sensor; it's a non-contact temperature sensor, which means it measures the infrared uh, coming off of something and uh, turns that into a, a measurement of heat. Uh, we did a review on this earlier, and we'll be sure and link to that in the post below here. So now we're going to let Shock try to solder this with his his okay. massive SMD soldering <laughs> skills. All right. We use a loop to find the pin one marker. Uh, it's I draw it uh, on this piece of paper so it's uh, better visible. It's barely seeable with with a loop, let alone uh, with your eye. I also put a black dot where the pin one is on the uh, PCB. Now I have uh, lying all things okay, and it should uh, uh, clip together, and it should be okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, one thing, I got some captain tape, and I'm gonna fix the board a little because I guess when it's when I'm gonna use uh, all there, the PCB is gonna fly away. Also the chip. Also but the chip. <laughs> <laughs> and afterwards, I'm gonna flip the chip and uh, gonna fix it with some captain tape, so it's aligned okay. Then I'm gonna to heat things up and try to get the solder melted. Are you going to flux too? Yeah, sure. Of course. <laughs> Stupid question. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's really clever using the tape to hold it in place so you can push it back down as you need to. Well, fingers crossed. Here goes nothing. Yeah. Wow. It looks like it's holding. Yes.
let's check it again. Now it appears to be flat on the surface. Let's uh, get the remaining components on and test it with our trusty bus bar. So we, we hooked up the BGA chip board to the bus pirate and it didn't work, but we had a great time doing it. And thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about QFN soldering. And we'll see you next time. All right, bye bye. What? <laughs> you cut it out, right? Oops. It'll be on the blooper reel at the end. Ah, ouch.